Hey guys, so good morning. Today, oh look at that light, it's terrible. Let's see if I switch, if that's better. A little better, okay. So today is uh, my first day starting Dairy Free Keto. I originally said I was gonna do it a week to three weeks. Um, I think I'm gonna try to do it all of September. Um, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> um, it shouldn't be too bad. I mean, I used to be dairy free when I was paleo. Um, not all the time, but at least part of the time. Um, so hopefully it won't be so hard. Um, but here's my breakfast recipe, uh, or what I had for breakfast. It's a recipe that I've already got on my channel. It's called the Southwest um, Breakfast Casserole. Only I left out the dairy. So I just talk about a little bit what I did different. Um, you just make adjustments, right? Um, and it was just as good without um, the dairy. Also, I'm getting ready to make a pumpkin spice, non-dairy pumpkin spice uh, bulletproof latte. So I'll show you how to do that too. Okay, so here is my recipe for the um, pumpkin spice bulletproof latte. Um, I'll put that in here, but also I'm going to show you guys how I did it. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need is a blender, a or a a Nutribullet or a um, frother um, to make this. So I've got my bottom of my Nutribullet blender. I'm going to add one cup of coffee, which I made in my French press, um, but you can do it however you want your Keurig or whatever. Um, now I'm going to put a half a tablespoon of MCT oil. You can use regular coconut oil if you don't have MCT oil or if you don't like MCT oil. I'm going to do two tablespoons of your milk, subs your non-dairy milk. I use milkadamia um, nut milk or macadamia nut milk. Milkadamia is the brand. Um, it's unsweetened. Make sure you get unsweetened, whether it's almond milk, coconut milk, or macadamia nut milk, cashew milk, whatever it is, make sure it's unsweetened. Um, and, but I like this because I think it has a richer taste. So I'm gonna put about two tablespoons. This is a half, so I'll probably put four of these. Give or take what I spill over. Okay, that's in there. Now I'm gonna put a ta uh, table, half a tablespoon, sorry, of ghee. And the reason why on Dairy Free, um, you can have ghee is because ghee is clarified butter so it has all the stuff that bothers you if you're doing dairy um, is removed it's scraped off the top so basically um, that's why it's acceptable on paleo and other you know if you are truly allergic to all dairy I'm not sure about ghee you have to try it and see for yourself this is the one I use it actually has coconut oil mixed in but there's plain ghee as well there's a vanilla ghee that I want to try sometime that I'm gonna do that with too. And this is coconut cream. And I won't start a picture because I already put this out of the can, but this is just the coconut cream. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do two of these because I wanna do a tablespoon of the coconut cream. And I'm gonna insert the recipe, you guys. And then I'm going to put some pumpkin spice. And if you don't have pumpkin spice, you guys, it's super easy to make. I do it all the time. I just happen to have some left from last year um, that's already put together. I'm gonna do a teaspoon of that. Because basically pumpkin spice is nutmeg, ginger, cinnamon, cloves, and that's it. So you can make your own really easily if you don't have it. You can just add those things instead. Okay, so I have all the things in here. As you notice, I'm not I'm not adding any sweetener. I don't do sweetener in my coffee. If you want this to be a little bit sweeter, you could put um, some unsweetened or some stevia, or if you do artificial sweeteners, you can do one of those syrups that has the sugar-free pumpkin or caramel or whatever you want. I don't do that. I like it just like this. I think it's just, I think it's sweet enough by itself. So let me blend this up. A little tip when you're using MCT oil or coconut oil um, the pumpkin spice is gonna stick somewhat to the bottom of the um, blender so you're gonna want to get something and kind of scrape that just to make sure you get all of that because you don't want to miss any of that stuff let me grab my little scraper 
you can just use a spoon, but I like to use this little spatula thingy. And I just kind of stir it around and make sure I get all of that off the side because you don't want to waste it. You want it to taste yummy. Like that. And then I'm going to pour it into my cup. And you can adjust the amount of milk or anything you use just so that um, for your taste. You can even top it with something if you want to. Kind of show you what that looks like there. Yum! Okay, so now I'm gonna go drink my pumpkin spice latte. Mm. It's so good, you guys. Hey guys, so um, I'm gonna insert my lunch that I had here. I just had leftovers of the um, green chili pork that I made the other day, and I also posted a video about that. Um, and it was really good. It, it is really good as leftovers because the longer it sits, the more uh, flavor it has. Um, I just don't, didn't add cheese or anything like that this time. Um, and yeah, and so I'm about to run in the store. It's raining, and we're excited about that here in East Texas because we haven't gotten rain in a while. Um, so it's pretty cool. It's cooled things off a little bit. Um, but yeah, we are grilling for dinner, and so I'm going to um, grab some more veggies for sides while I'm here. And I will show you later what we're having. So here's what we ate. We had some um, grilled chicken and, and pork with some broccoli and Brussels sprouts with some sugar-free barbecue sauce.